Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to do a, a quick uh, a video on how to clear a jam on the Mono Price Select Mini. So, one of the issues I ran into is I, I hit a jam uh, in the hot end, and so this doesn't kind of work like a normal hot end. So, I kind of wanted to show a little bit of, of this. So, I'm going to zoom in a little bit on, on the hot end and pan you around here a little bit. And so we see the heat sink right here. So this is a little bit different. So I've now I popped the um, fan off the hot end. And one of the things that I've noticed is typically this, this Bowden type extruder brass hot end coupler uh, threads into the heat sink. In this case, it doesn't. What it does is it has this little, um, I'm not sure if this is going to come into focus. But it's got this little lug with an Allen screw that sets in here. So I'm going to show this in a minute, but what, what's happened is I've gotten a piece of broken PLA in here that's kind of gone cockeyed because the way that this is set up is it's got like a PTFE tube up here, which is a larger diameter than the throat that goes into the hot end down here. Um, and you can see that there's another one of these placed down here that holds this whole assembly into place into this. So it, it's, uh, it doesn't really thread into this heat sink. It's held in by pressure as well as this. So if you want to remove this, um, you don't use a wrench to turn, to turn it like you would in a, you know, a typical uh, hot end to screw it out. You actually have to take an Allen wrench into this... Um, lug like that and then that lug locks in there. So I've cleared the PLA jam. Uh, long story short, I just used one of these little hex screwdrivers to push it down and, and pushed it out. And then I used one of these 0.4 millimeter um, uh, pieces to kind of clear out the end. And so now that's working. So now I want to go ahead and reassemble this. So now I'm going to loosen this up a little bit and I'm going to make sure I get it in frame here because camera is behind me. So I want to loosen this up a little bit and then I'm going to take and I'm going to uh, my fat fingers are a little bit difficult for some of this drop it in there and then what you do is you place the head in here and I need to kind of adjust myself to do this around the camera and then what you do is just take this and tighten it up this Allen wrench on this lug and that locks that into place. I might have to upscale my bit a little bit. I think that one was a little bit too small. Um, not really a fan of this because this does not secure that in there the best but there we go see now now that's tight in there and I can put my fan cover back on and, and what happens is these springs on the side these springs on the side here uh, clip on and, and clip that back into place so as you put this back on um, Okay, I gotta pull that clip forward. And then I gotta get this other side. Oh, this side is going to be a little bit more difficult because it's a little bit tougher to get my fingers in here. A pair of needle nose pliers, if I walked into the shop about 400 feet away and got a pair of needle nose players might make this a little bit easier. Okay, so now that fan is clipped back on. I just want to make sure I got everything in the video frame. So that's how you clear it. So the, the, the biggest thing to know is if you want to take this off, you have to remove the fan cover, get an Allen wrench, and loosen that up to pop this out, then you can clear your jam. So anyways, hopefully uh, if you've got a jam, whatever, I'll, I'll, whoops, I'll pull you back out here. So if you got a jam in the future, um, that's how you clear it. So 
Hopefully this helped you, saved you from a little bit of head headache. If you did, hey, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.